Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2024. ISC is the largest integration systems show in the world, right here in Barcelona. So David, can you tell us about how you're positioned in the pro AV broadcast market? Yes, well, we're very excited actually to be here at ISC because uh, we are now coming in in a big way into the pro AV marketplace. Um, we see a great expansion in our market, particularly in the corporate educational areas there. Can you talk to me a little bit about the trends that you're seeing with regard to your technology in the industry? Well, we come from the broadcast industry. We've been in the business for 30 years now. And what we've been doing is that we've been democratizing the technology. In other words, bringing it into a much wider marketplace, which is that pro AV marketplace we've been talking about there. Um, so we're now able to make it much simpler to operate, yet it's still the sophisticated broadcast level technology to bring something which is not currently available in this industry, um, which is what we're showing here, which is our Edison. So this is a presentation tool um, for corporates and education and other organizations which want to be able to do things remotely, but in a far more interesting and engaging way. So we're able to have a green screen environment here. We have a LED wall, as you can see behind me. And we can bring in elements such as uh, augmented reality elements, uh, PowerPoints, um, images, 3D animations, to, make, uh, to tell a better story. Um, and in a corporate market, for example, it could be used uh, for a product launch where you're, inter you're introducing new products and an international basis um, across many of your subsidiaries, for example, shareholder meetings and the such like. Yeah. What are you showcasing here specifically at ISE this year? Well, the, the Edison itself is, is our principal product into this marketplace there. But as I say, it's based on broadcast quality systems there. So the Edison ecosystem, which we have here, um, includes uh, products which are readily available on Amazon, such as the lights, um, such as the webcam, such as products which are easily available and accessible to um, AV departments. They don't have to be uh, highly sophisticated broadcasters, as I say. We, we democratize it, make it very much uh, easier, not only to install, but to operate, um, uh, so that uh, a lecturer, for example, could do remote classes. Yeah? Or as I mentioned, a uh, chairman of a multinational organization might want to do a shareholders meeting, make it much more interesting as they're presenting the data there. Yeah. And tell me a little bit more about your latest developments. Well, um, Brainstorm is very much of an R&D company. Where, uh, there are the word which describes us as innovation. So although we are a relatively small company in terms of personnel, we have a very, very large footprint. So we have clients all over the world, we have subsidiaries and such like. Um, and our, the whole purpose of what we do, including the Edison which we have here, is to provide the latest in technolo technological developments, um, very much matching what the, our clients are requesting. Um, in other words, nowadays a lot of people do remote things, uh, Zoom, Teams and the such like, but everyone wants to do something different now. We're here in the hybrid world and the pro AV market here really represents that. So we are providing what we believe is an ideal tool in the Edison for that marketplace. And who are you targeting with this and what are the future use perspective cases? Well, this is um, a, a very inexpensive system compared to um, uh, broadcast quality systems there. So we're targeting it down to individuals, YouTube operators, or to, you know, people who want to generate their own content there. Um, and all the way up to, as I say, large multinational corporations, schools, primary schools. Um, we were at the BET uh, exhibition in uh, the UK last week. The vast number of uh, people there are teachers, uh, educators, one kind or the other. So it's um, primary schools, secondary schools, universities, colleges of education, one kind or the other. Um, uh, in the US, it's uh, houses of worship, um, corporate I mentioned as well. So really, anyone who's got a need to be able to present in a very interesting and engaging way to hold the attention of your viewers remotely, which is, as we all know, very difficult. Um, so that's what it's all about, being able to present something which in an engaging, informative way that the, 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 the audience retains that information and, as I say, their attention is uh, maintained longer than the normal sort of five-minute attention span there. Very exciting times, David. What do you think the future holds for Brainstorm? Well, frankly, 
uh, more of the same, based on innovation, though. So, um, the, uh, I, I mentioned the Edison, and I mentioned the, e the ecosystem for the Edison. So we're adding um, features all the time. So, for example, here we're showing uh, a very sophisticated, yet simple-to-use application, um, which is to bring in AR content, augmented reality content, within this virtual environment of, of the Edison, um, using simply an iPhone or an iPad, um, and it's a free application as well. As I say, this, we, we, we're making, we're democratizing it. It's, it's, it's available for everyone here. Very exciting. Thank you so much, David. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.